Take a ping pong ball and a source of streaming air like this vacuum blower or a hair dryer. Turn it on and place the ball in the air. It floats. How does it work? When the air reaches the ball, it pushes upward, balancing the downward force of gravity. The ball is balanced up and down, but why doesn't it move side to side? In fact, we can tilt the stream and the ball doesn't fall. Let's look again at the airflow. Air is deflected around the ball because, simply, the ball is in the way. Inertia tells us the air should keep going in a straight line, but the fast-moving air passes by air particles next to the ball, and viscosity or fluid friction causes the airflow to pull the stationary air along with it. That leaves a low-pressure area which will pull the moving flow back toward the ball. This tendency for air to follow a curved surface is called the Kawanda effect. The ball is also pulled toward the area of low pressure. We can see this if we blow on one side of a ball. It moves toward the side we blew on. Now if the ball moves to one side of the airstream, the effect is increased on the opposite side and the ball is sucked back into the middle. Hey there! I made this video as part of a competition to describe a phenomenon in 60 seconds. If it seemed rushed, that's why. It was. If you have more questions about the Kawanda effect, send me a message. Now, go try this at home.